Hi, so my name is Doug Belshaw, and I'm co-kickstarter of Purposed, um, which is a, a cooperative community interest company. Um, and we've just got one mission, to get as many people to debate the question, what is the purpose of education? And it's actually a harder question to answer than you might think, so I'll spend five minutes just going through that. This is the University of Bologna. It was founded in 1088, so that's almost 1,000 years ago. Uh, and students could hire and fire lecturers. But what I'm interested in is that guy at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. <laughs> what, what's he doing, right? <laughs> is, is he asleep? Um, is he crying because he hasn't got a book? What's he doing? Um, what are the rest of the students doing? Are they talking while the lecturer is talking? Are they just listening to what he says? Are they writing stuff down? What do they believe is the purpose of education? That's me, aged about three. Um, I'm fairly sure that thing in the background is a black swan. And obviously back then I didn't know that a black swan is a metaphor for um, an unexpected event with a high impact. And the question I've got is that, you know, are we preparing students for an uncertain future? So this book here, um, if anyone who's read it will know that it's a worldview changing book. And as an educator, it made me think about the social contract we've got with young people. Um, what are, we, what are we promising them, both implicitly and explicitly, from our education system? I, I've worked in almost every sector of education in the UK, from primary through to higher education, and it seems to me there's a some fantastic educators doing some wonderful work, but I feel there's no direction there. And I think that's because we haven't had a debate about the purpose of education. So co-kickstarter Andy Stewart was with me when we heard Professor Kerry Faser call for a serious public debate about the purpose of education. And it's something we couldn't ignore. We had to do something about it. And that was back in late 2010. But it's actually got worse since then. Andy and I try and stay neutral because we don't want to prejudice the debate. But we've been really concerned about the right-wing, reactionary, and fairly authoritarian um, educational policies coming out of supposedly liberal democracies. So what can we do about it? Well, the first thing we can do is we can get on and, and actually debate the purpose of education or the purposes of education. Um, be, there's been some wonderful work recently about computer science, getting that onto the table. And just like that, we can get the issue of the purpose of education onto the table. The second thing we can do is use the mechanisms of democracy in our favor. So in the UK, we have e-petitions. And what that does is it forces our representatives to debate certain issues. Um, and there's no reason why we can't use that. Even if we don't get 100,000 signatures, it builds momentum. The third thing we can do is we can go international. We've already got a Spanish version of Purpose, and the School Purpose Project is gaining some traction over here. So there's no reason why it has to be just a national debate, because we live in an online world without borders. Just a quick aside for any of you who are thinking of doing a project like this. Make sure you have some linguists on your team, because... Um, this took off very quickly after we started, um, and Andy and I don't speak Spanish, and we can't even translate the tweets, never mind that kind of longer and more discursive stuff. So, in a couple of years' time, we want to ask politicians what they believe the purpose of education to be. But you can tell right now what politicians believe by looking at their behaviors and their actions. And right now, we believe that they worship PISA. Now, PISA stands for the Program for International Student Assessment. And it's pretty much the only mechanism that politicians have got to um, compare and contrast educational outcomes. But unfortunately, it focuses on very narrow educational outcomes, and it allegedly uses discredited statistical techniques. As long as education remains within the remit of politicians, it's going to be about control and power. And to my mind, as an educator, we need to consider other purposes of education, other ways of being, and other possibilities. So last year, we ran two projects which kind of built upon each other. The first thing we asked was for people to um, give us 500 words on what they believe the purpose of education to be. And the second thing we did was got people to then take quotations from those 500 words and remix them with images. So what we found was, especially with educators, they weren't willing just to work within the existing structures, and they were focused on the education of the whole child rather than just narrow test scores. That was good. So... <sighs> Thank you. Um, so we, we found that these educators want to focus on disrupting education, which was quite a surprise to us. Um, and some of these educators said that education is stuck in the 19th century, which is not something we would endorse, but there's certainly something wrong with education. So we want to move towards getting that answer to the problem of education. We realize it depends upon context and there's lots of different facets, but having a space where people can debate without rehashing those familiar arguments between traditionalists and progressives, that's got to be worthwhile, hasn't it? So 
If you'd like to join us, our website is at purpose.org.uk. You don't need to ask permission to, to do what we've done in your particular context. Just get on and do it, and let's debate the purpose of education. Thank you.